Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Oh, it's raining. What a change, we ain't had none for at least half an hour. <laughs> okay, what are we doing today? Right, oh, before I start, a big thank you to everybody that's bought the Sean's World calendar from my website shop. Welcome to seansworld.com. Yeah, I've been overwhelmed with the response and the kind comments, so thank you all very much. Right, in today's video, well, weather permitting, I don't mind a little bit of drizzle, you know, I can work out here and that. Just when it absolutely pours down, you know, you get it off the roof. But we've got to haunch up the sides here, level this stone off, lay these stones, level them up. So a little bit of work to do in this area. Some making good here with some gravel. Just want to get it looking tidy. You know, I know there's still lots to go, you know, and the more you look up, there's a little bit of storm damage there replace that but it is getting there I mean we pass this every single day so it's quite a challenge to keep it all looking good and do everything else not been able to get my winder in down my end in the cottage yet because of the weather um, ah that's the other job I've got to do chopping boards I've got lots of chopping boards to make so I'm going to be doing that today I've done a, a little shape of a pig a few people have asked me for that one and also the uh, the easel shaped ones as well now I'm eagerly awaiting my new unit from EcoFlow should be getting that very shortly really looking forward to setting that up that will provide me with a lot more additional power which I need at the moment especially with the the darkness and the bigger tools that I'm using so we'll get some lighting set up. Is that it? That's better. Right, let's have a closer look at this fire before I get going. Well, to be honest with you, I've had mixed results. Um, it's cleaned up better in some areas. Still quite dark, but to be honest with you, it doesn't really bother me. Um, it's clean to the touch, nothing comes off, it doesn't smell. These ones have come up really nice. Now with this area here, um, the darkest areas, I think, are the, the clay joints. So, I mean, we've got some staining here, but you know, once you factor in the fact that the fireplace is going there, uh, the wood burner is going there in the fireplace, you know, and it is part of its character and history. So, we've got the sides to do, got the columns to go in. So, it's all smelling and looking cleaner anyway. Let's head upstairs and I'll show you the chopping boards that I'm currently working on. There we go. That one will soon be going to market. I'll do some sanding and a few coats of food grade oil. So we'll have some of those ready. Wow, well, that's better. Now I have got a bit of a problem with my tripod, it snapped off. Try the cable ties a quick temporary fix but that didn't work so I think I'm going to drill it and try and put some self tapping screws in there basically the thread's gone on there it's had a lot of use so reluctant to go and buy another one so I'm going to try this first set me drill up see if I can fix it There we go, we're now back in business. It's not gonna last forever, but it doesn't need to. And that is so much easier and better for me because I can operate it from the, the hand tripod, which is the remote control for the camera. So it saves me going backwards and forwards lots of times. Just click the button, goes off, click the button back on again. Now the only thing I'll, I do really need is a quick release mechanism for this one and the tripod. Uh, if anyone's you know used any quick release um, adapters for this sort of rig, be interested to know you know your findings. Just going to use this as my temporary bench. Get some wood on there. in place okay let's get to work on this little piglet
nearly ready for market. Don't forget each purchase, the same as the calendar and anything else you buy from me, goes back into the project and helps me proceed with it. So thank you all very much for your purchases and your support. Now this will get two coats of food grade mineral oil, which is very important. You can see the colour come through now. That's how it looks like before. And that is what it's like afterwards. Do the other side. Everyone's unique, they're all hand cut. Just a momentum really. Memento, sorry. <laughs> That's what I need to keep going, the momentum. The first one soaks right in because it's very, very dry. And then the next one, more of a protection. You do have to apply this sort of periodically depending on how much you wash it up and what you use it for. You can buy it online, the oil. There you go. One rustic piggy ready to go in my website. Welcome to Seansworld.com. Next up is our rough cut blank. Uh, I have a look at the shape, where the defects are, and then that way I determine my design. So I'm going to cut around there. Nice organic shape, check both sides. Yeah, this is gonna look beautiful once it gets some oil on it. Yeah, a bit of a challenge. Um, but yeah, a natural product, so you're gonna get it. Okay, a lovely bit of teak. I like to cut it a little bit larger than what I, what I need. It allows for any adjustments. It's going to be really organic with this one. It's a shame to cut so much of it away, so I'm going to go as large as I can. It's like a Pac-Man. Okay, so our design is going to literally work out, work out from that point onwards. So. It's in the palm rather nicely. So I'm now happy with the shape. Let's work on the outside now.
happy that that's prepped and perfect for the oil. Wait for the transformation. Never get bored of this bit. Dust down. And that transform it. So you never know until you get that oil on. Look at that. One more coat on this side. We'll let that dry. And then we'll give it another coat. That is the beauty of teak. Once you put some oil on it, wow. Does it transform it? A beautiful wood. There you have it. We've got another chopping board destined for welcome to Sean'sWorld.com. Grab it while you can. They're a limited edition, that's for sure. <laughs> Time to give the board its second coat. On the other side already so while that's soaking in I need to take a trip to the builders merchants and we'll get some stone gravel and a few tools for our next task one of those tasks is to remove off all this defective render you can see the water stains coming from the leak up there so all this has got to come off if it's solid down here then I'll leave it if anything that's blown which means it's come away like here I need to investigate this big crack here to make sure it's not a, a badly sort of, well, a structural crack basically. It might just be in the render. So we need to take a closer look at that. Uh, still got some block work to do up there. And there's another crack there. So, yep. I need to go and get a spade piece for my drill. And then weather permitting, all this stuff that I'm taking off, it's clay. That can go around the back. I've got to make some levels up there. But by the sounds of it, it sounds like the weather's took a turn for the worse once again. It's got windy and it's starting to rain, so... Hmm. Maybe we'll just get it off the, uh, off the chimney breast to start with. And then maybe think about wheelbarrowing it round once it stops raining. Right, let's make a run for it while it's eased off a little bit. Okay, let's try and find an assistant. Probably all hiding because it's raining. That's what I need, some of that gravel there. Okay, I'm back. Oh. Well, prices have gone up. That was 30, 35 euros. That's why I like going to feed grannies. I would have got that for a couple of euros, but there you go. Sometimes you just got to buy them when you need them. Okay, let's go inside. Um, if it eases off, then I'll unload the trailer. Till then, we're going to go upstairs and have a go with the Kango to get some of that render off. This is the render that I need to remove. Like I said, not that long ago, you can see where the water has been leaking in, still remains so. At this moment, it's still leaking. That's around the uh, chimney stack on the, on the roof side. Um, need a bit of haunching up. 
can't do it because of the weather. So we'll get this off, see what's going on there and here. We're slowly revealing the construction of the chimney breast up the top. Now we'll give it a chance to dry out. I'm going to get up on the roof as soon as the weather permits to get round that chimney stack. Do some pointing. I can't have any water coming in. I can't insulate, I can't block up until that's fixed. Well, yeah, that's looking a lot better. Now what I have noticed by standing here are some black areas of soot. Now that is where the fire over the years has been leaching out through the stone. So very important that I don't use this as an open fire, but have a, a flue liner in there because that would leak out into the room and probably had been for, you know, quite some time. Right, we've got an area there with the big crack in it. Yeah, interesting to see what's below that. Also on the other side. Just there. Well, it's getting quite late in the day now. I think I'm gonna call that a day. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget if you'd like to support me, you can do it through Buy Me A Coffee, Patreon, or just watch the video. You can also buy a calendar. Okay, see you all soon. Bye for now.